Hi there everyone, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Silent Sky Phaser. I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday or whatnot. As you may know, last yesterday was election day in my state of Virginia. And as you know, we had to do the whole governor the, the the whole thing about for governor, you know. So basically the two candidates who were running for the governorship was Democrat Terry McAuliffe and Republican Glenn Youngkin. And in what could be known as a surprising turn of events, <laughs> in more ways than one, Youngkin defeated defeated Terry McAuliffe by 2.1% of the votes. It was a big, massive upset said in this state has ever seen because if as you may know the democrats have had have been governing this this state for 12 years so yeah 12 years we had it gov uh, democrat uh governors and whatnot so and from yeah and from last night it just fit red i was i was in total shock to be perfectly honest and I was wondering, hmm, I wonder how people are going to take this. I mean, come on. You really think, you really think I'm going to make a video if if these people didn't, if the people on the on the other side ain't going to, is going to be okay? No. Well, in some crazy, insane, mad, insane craziness, you may notice that, well, yes, yeah, lots of, lots of woke liberal, um, Lots of of woke liberal liberal media. They were super pissed off about it, and uh, well, rightfully so. They were pissed. They're they're super pissed off because um, Young Kid won. It beat out Terry McAuliffe. <coughs> oh, sorry. But yeah, Terry McAuliffe, he didn't do himself. To be perfectly honest, Terry McAuliffe never did. It. Did himself any goddamn fucking favors to begin with? I mean, after all, he and during the whole fucking debate, he said that parent that he don't think that parents should should tell the school board how they should treat their kids, how they how they how the teachers should teach their kids. Which obviously that's no. I mean, that's a big no no. You don't whatever whatever you don't do, you do not tell their you do not tell parents, especially moms. How, how that they have no right to tell the school board how they should teach their kids, and this was all because of you know that that kids that these schools now they is teaching this stupid asinine racist thing known as critical race theory for some dumbass reason, which is fucked up on so many levels because I think CTR is doing nothing is nothing more than some than some bullshit that they want to teach the kids because they want to. It's fucking stupid, to be perfectly honest. And, well, you know, I think that's one. And also didn't help the fact that uh, Terry McAuliffe was getting his ass kicked in the fucking polls in more ways than one. So he decided to pull out all the goddamn stops to try to, get, try to garner some votes to try to help himself win. Well, no surprise. Well, no fucking surprise, he decided to use the race card, because why not? And by calling his opponent racist, call his uh, opponents, his supporters racist, no surprise. And also, and also yesterday on a YouTube, ch on a YouTube ad video, he had an, he had an ad that said that if Terry, if Glenn Young gets nominated for governor, gets selected as governor, he will bet, he will bet. He will ban books that books written by black and brown authors, and I was like, desperate, m desperation much? Well, as you may know, what happened happened. Virginia selected Youngkin over Terry McAuliffe, and well, Youngkin won. Youngkin won the match. Youngkin won, and to no one's surprise, and to. No surprise, everyone was, everyone, 
every every uh liberal to, liberal on Twitter is having and in the media they're having a goddamn meltdown of epic fucking proportions. In fact, they are so they are livid and they're crazy, man. In fact, there's two hashtags that's going down right now. The first hashtag is the white women one. That one was the most stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. But apparently in these in whatever their fucked up idiot idiots minds are is that they blame the white women mostly suburban suburban white women suburban moms for helping young kid uh beat out terry mcauliffe terry mcauliffe well i mean well i mean if you want my honest fucking opinion guys and feel f and if any uh lovely suburban mom would like to comment please do i would like to know what your two cents on it i mean yeah, telling telling them that they have no right to tell tell the school board how they should teach their kids, of course they're gonna be pissed off. Of course they're gonna be they ain't gonna vote for the guy because that was stupid. I mean, I would never say that to that, even if I was in the school board one. And all, but I think the reason why is they blame white women is because they think that white women were the main reasons why. To, uh, why Glenn Youngkin managed to get in, managed to win the whole thing. Well, be that as it may, and contrary to popular belief, no, it was it was terrible. Uh, it was actually terrible. Um, democratic strategies and policy that they tried to do to try to help them win elections. It didn't help. It didn't really fucking help out themselves. In fact. In fucking fact, that this whole thing was a total woke lash. Basically, people who voted for Terry, people who voted uh Terry, I mean voted for Yup Glenn Youngkin, they was telling the woke woke pe woke mofo's and Democrats, fuck you. Like seriously, they was like seriously, fuck you and eat a dick, and. To no one's surprise, the Dems, who are still couldn't get over the fact that they fucking lost, they decided to blame the Virginia, the GOP's Virginia win on, you fucking guessed it, white supremacist parents. Because in their ever so fucked up minds whatsoever, they decided to, they decided that if anything doesn't go their fucking way, they'll always have to blame it, blame or if people don't vote the way they're supposed to vote, then they then they're white supremacists. You own, and I think that's one of the main reasons why people hate don't d decide to vote for Glenn Youngkin. And I think pretty much everybody has decided to vote for them because I think people are at a fucking point in their lives that they're sick and tired of being called a fucking a fucking racist, being called racist, sexist. Homophobe, xenophobe, transphobe, every fucking, every fucking stupid ass buzzword that that people on the on the left on the left political side say when they do when they don't do what they what they actually said, and and it ain't and the funny thing it ain't just white, and this is just my honest opinion it ain't just white it ain't just white people who voted for getting Yankin. Um, uh, Latinos voted for him, black, black and browns voted for him, pretty much, pretty, pretty much everybody else did, but, I, but apparently they say, but apparently they see white, white people, um, but apparently they figure white women were the ones doing it because they're the easy culprit, because, in the, because they can't, because when it comes to woke, woke dumbasses nowadays, they can't see anything, they can't see anything besides fucking color. Besides fucking color, so I don't fucking. So honestly, I don't fucking blame. So honestly, it's their it's their choice. I mean, if they want to, if they don't want to, if they want to vote for who they want to want to vote, that's their say. I mean, and, and last time I check, it's a two in America. It's a two fucking party. It's a two fucking party system, not a one party system. I mean, God. I mean, God fucking damn it. This is so, this is so goddamn stupid. People are taking this shit so, way too fucking seriously. Fucking seriously. I mean, it, it really is. I mean, this shit is, is really bad, man. It's just like the damn just don't know, the damn just don't, 
just cannot take a loss. They just need to. They have to learn the fact that um, that policies nowadays they don't. You have to offer people. You have to offer policies that can benefit all people in a state. All fucking people in a fucking state. Not just one particular set of one particular group because that's not how it works. That's not how it fucking works in that thing. But you know, but you know, they'll keep but to them it they'll just keep on blaming um oh bl oh they just gonna keep on saying, Oh my god, it, the reason why no 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 Yonki got it because of white supremacy I'm like get the fuck out of here. I I think people are so fucking tired of that shit. I think people are so goddamn fucking tired of this whole oh everything is oh everything is racist and whatnot. I mean, get the fuck out of here. I mean I'm getting tired of that too, but it's just that it's just that problem the problem is that people just don't know when to take take that goddamn L man. That's what it is. And if you think oh and if you think that's and if you think that's bad bad, well in the sporting world a lot of woke media the woke media was super was was egregiously pissed off over the fact that uh well over the fact that the Atlanta Braves won the World Series last night beating the, beating the Astros 7 to nothing to win the series 4 games to 2 I mean Rob Menfell be getting booed when presenting the trophy to the Braves was the beautiful highlight of, of the moment it's just that people are just sick and tired of this whole woke ass shit woke ass bullshit and and I'm pretty sure it is. And also in S. Cantor and also in S. Cantor, this is a bonus one. In S. Cantor, he's actually came out and calling out uh chi calling out China. I mean he's doing a lot of stuff that he's doing a lot of stuff that that um Adam Silver and LeBron James is t is too much of a chicken shit too much of a chicken shit sons of bitches to do because they're too much of a fucking bitch. But there, there. But yeah. But anywho, I also want to. But anywho, before I close this out, I just want to say, um, say this. Um, this is a message to Glenn Youngkin. I want to say congratulations for winning the governorship in Virginia. And I mean, uh, the media. They're not gonna lie, man. The media was really trying their damnedest to make sure you don't, you don't win. And unfortunately, and unfortunately for them, you proved them wrong. <laughs> But anywho, I'm not gonna be one of these people. Be all like, "Oh, I hope this motherfucker fails, so we can, so we can be, so we can tweet about this on, so I can just you know tweet about this on on my Twitter, Twitter because so I could be uh, important or some dumb shit like that." So because uh, I know pretty much everybody else is doing pretty much that's what they're doing. Because people people on Twitter nowadays, hey, you have no life, and Twitter's not a real place. I think you might do. I'm just saying that I that I know you might do a good job. I, good job governing this beloved state. I hope you, I uh, hope you don't let these mo these idiots um, try these uh the media try to tell you that you ain't shit or anything. And I think you might do. And I think you might do exceptionally exceptionally well so anywho i wish you the best of luck and and i sorry said i wish you the best of luck and i will give you the benefit of the doubt so you know there's that but anywho that's just my two cents on the whole thing is i would like to know what you think on this on this as always as always be sure to leave a little uh as always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss another update. Share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with your certificate others, and that's about it. Until next time, this is Darkside 2K7, aka Sun Sky Suit Sun Out. Thank you for watching for taking the time to watch this video. It really means a lot. And I will see you in the next one. God God bless you all. Man, wow. That was, uh...